Hello guys, I am back with another video and today's video will be about Rock Hudson. The charming and handsome actor who had a huge presence on screen and off. But before I go any further make sure to like this video, subscribe and comment below and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Disclaimer. I am not sure what is true or false in this video. I just find the information about a celebrity and make videos. This is not a biography channel, and it is just for entertainment purposes only. Please do not take any information from this video as factual. Thanks. Rock Hudson's original name was Roy Scherer Jr., and he was born on November 17, 1925, in an apartment in Winnetka, Illinois. The only child of Catherine Scherer, a homemaker and a telephone operator and his father Roy Harold Scherer Jr., an auto mechanic. Catherine and Roy married a month before Rock Hudson was conceived. Growing up, Catherine was an overbearing mother, stating to Rock that he ruined his body when she was pregnant with him. This causes young Rock to feel extreme remorse. During the Great Depression, Hudson's father lost his job and feeling useless, he abandoned the family and moved to the West Coast for better opportunities. Rumor has it that young Rock was the reason why Roy left the family behind. The rumor has it that Catherine was more affectionate toward young Rock and ignoring her husband. Hudson's parents divorced when he was four years old, a few years later, in 1932, his mother married Wallace Fitzgerald, a former Marine Corps officer whom young Roy despised. Roy was adopted by Fitzgerald without his consent, and his legal name then became Roy Harold Fitzgerald. Rock's stepfather physically abused him and his mother and disapproved of his stepson wanting to be an actor. Rock's stepfather took toys away from him and believed they were effeminate and tried to squash Rock's dreams of acting. From an early age, he learned that he could talk about pretty much anything except what he truly felt and what he really wanted. Living in an abusive home, Rock and his mother would often escape and find solace in the movie theater. According to Rock Hudson's words, back in a small town, I could never freely say, I'm going to be an actor when I grow up, because that's just sissy stuff, you know, don't bother with that. You ought to be a policeman or a fireman. So, I never said anything. I just kept my mouth shut Rock attended New Trier High School with other fellow stars such as in Margaret and Charlton Heston. He sang in the school's glee club and was remembered as a shy boy who delivered newspapers, ran errands, and worked as a golf caddy. After graduating from high school, he served in the Philippines as an aircraft mechanic for the United States Navy during World War II. In 1946, Hudson moved to the Los Angeles area to pursue an acting career and apply to the University of Southern California's dramatics program, but he was rejected owing to poor grades. Hudson worked for a time as a truck driver delivering dried fruit, longing to be an actor but with no success in breaking into the movies. He would park his truck at a studio lot hoping a mobile would notice him. Rock sent a picture of himself to Henry Leroy Wilson. Henry Wilson was a talent agent who shaped up and coming actors into mainstream success. Henry Wilson was a tormented gay man who preyed on other tormented gay men. He would be their manager and make them sexually service him. When Rock started his acting career, he was considered a bad actor. In the film, Fighter Squadron, it took 38 takes for Rock to successfully deliver his lines. When he signed a long-term contract with Universal Pictures, he received coaching in acting, singing, and dancing. Henry helped Rock Hudson become the famous actor that he is known today. He helped him by making him more masculine, which led to him to become a leading man in films such as Scarlet Angel, Has Anybody Seen My Gal? The Lawless Breed, seminal just to name a few. The one movie that made Rock Hudson a bona fide star is Giant starring Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean. During the set, Rock Hudson and James Dean did not get along because Rock Hudson made sexual passes toward James Dean and James was disdainful towards him. James didn't like Rock because he was pretending to be something that he was not. Rock also developed a dislike towards James Dean because he was the new young actor and he got the role in Giant because of his looks. After the success of Giant, Rock was nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor in Motion Picture. Rock started to do romantic comedy roles such as Pillow Talk with Doris Day and another one with Julie Andrews in Darling Lily. The more success Rock had the more Henry started to control his image. Henry would tutor, groom and teach Rock manners that are more appealing to the audience especially female audience because Rock Hudson was considered a heartthrob. Henry controlled Rock Hudson's career and life for 18 years. 
Henry would arrange Rock Hudson's brief marriage to his secretary, Phyllis Gates. Henry would keep Rock's name out of tabloids, allegedly selling out other clients of his. An incident occurred when Confidential Magazine was going to write an expose about Rock Hudson's sexual preference. Henry Wilson intervenes by selling out tab hunters and Rory Calhoun's secrets. Henry pushed for Rock to marry Phyllis Gates because it would help cover up his sexual preference. Rock Hudson co-stars knew of his sexuality and kept it a secret. Rock and Phyllis dated first for several months and moved in with Rock for two months before they got married. Phyllis married Rock out of love and not for publicity. For three years of marriage, Phyllis filed for a divorce and cited mental cruelty as the reason. What most people don't know about their marriage is that Phyllis hired a private eye to spy and tape record Rock conversation with his male lovers. Phyllis expressed to Rock that everyone knows that he picks up young males from the street and being married to her would cover up his sexual escapade. From the tape recordings, Rock denies ever picking up male prostitutes and that he is completely straight. Now rumor has it that Phyllis threatened to blackmail Rock Hudson about his homosexual activities and that more rumor claimed that Phyllis was actually a lesbian and from the beginning knew that Rock was homosexual. According to rumors, Rock Hudson had a brief fling with Sarah Davidson, who was a journalist, novelist and screenwriter. Sarah wrote a book, detailing Rock's same-sex relationship with Jack Coates, Tom Clark and most noticeably Lee Garlington. Rock Hudson stated that Lee Garlington was his true love. Lee met Rock when he was a film extra. Lee heard the rumors of Rock's sexuality and decided to find out the truth. A year after Lee broke up with his boyfriend, he got a call from Rock's friend to meet the actor. According to Lee, he was nervous to meet him. During the meeting, he offered Lee a beer and talked. After that, they started a love affair. Rock was never paranoid about being in a relationship with Lee, however he became more cautious when a female fan broke into his home and slept on his bed. The female fan did not find the naked photos of Lee that Rock kept in his drawers. Rock realized that he was vulnerable and put gates on the house after the incident. During the 60s, Rock Hudson's career started to decline. Rock made a movie with Gina Lollobrigida called Strange Bedfellows and it was a box office disappointment. Rock kept doing movies, but it was not as successful at the box office. Rock decided to switch movie genres such as starring in a science fiction thriller Seconds, which is one of his best performances. Rock Hudson did an action thriller, Ice Station Zebra, the film was a hit but struggled to recoup its large cost. During the 70s, he started doing television and had a successful series called, Macmillan and Wife. Rock kept doing minor movies as well and did live theater. After the final season of Macmillan and Wife, Rock made a movie, Avalanche which bombed at the box office. In the 80s, Rock started to have health problems due to years of heavy drinking and smoking. Rock had a massive heart attack and needed bypass open heart surgery. After the surgery, he needed to recover and turned down many movie roles. After recovery, he continued to smoke and kept securing movie roles. He was in ill health when filming The Ambassador and RuPort Tud Lee did not get along with his co-star, Robert Mitchum who was an alcoholic. Rock Hudson appeared in his final television series, Dynasty, and in 1984, he was diagnosed with AIDS. In 1990, Hudson live-in publicist, Tom Clark, and publicist Dick Kleiner published Rock Hudson, Friend of Mine. In the book, Clark said he believed Hudson acquired AIDS from blood transfusions during quintuple bypass open-heart surgery in 1981. Rock kept his AIDS diagnosis a secret and kept working and he will travel to countries looking for a cure. Rock and Doris Day had a press conference announcing their new television show, Doris Day's Best Friends. According to Doris Day, on set Rock appeared gaunt and did very little speaking during this segment. His appearance was such a shock that the reunion was broadcast repeatedly over national news shows that night and for days to come, with media outlets speculating on Hudson health. Hudson traveled to Paris, France, for another round of treatment. After Hudson collapsed in his room at the Ritz Hotel in Paris on July 21, his publicist Dale Olson released a statement claiming that Hudson had inoperable liver cancer. Olson denied reports that Hudson had AIDS and only said that he was undergoing tests for everything at the American Hospital of Paris. Four days later, on July 25, 1985, Hudson French publicist Yana Collet confirmed that Hudson did, in fact, have AIDS. Hudson flew back to Los Angeles on July 30. 
He was so weak that he was moved by stretcher from the Air France Boeing 747 he had chartered, he and his medical attendants were the only passengers. He was flown by helicopter to UCLA Medical Center, where he spent nearly a month undergoing further treatment. He was released from the hospital in late August 1985 and returned to his home in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles for private hospice care. At around 9 a.m. on October 2, 1985, Hudson died in his sleep from AIDS-related complications at his home in Beverly Hills at the age of 59. Hudson requested that no funeral be held. His body was cremated hours after his death and a cenotaph later was established at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Cathedral City, California. His ashes were scattered in the channel between Wilmington, Los Angeles, and Santa Catalina Island. After his death, Rock Hudson Estate was sued by Mark Christian. Mark Christian was Hudson's former lover and sued Rock Hudson Estate on grounds of intentional infliction of emotional distress. Christian claimed that Hudson continued having sex with him until February 1985, more than eight months after Hudson knew that he had HIV. Although he repeatedly tested negative for HIV, Christian claimed that he suffered from severe emotional distress after learning from a July 25, 1985, newscast that Hudson had been diagnosed with AIDS. Christian also sued Hudson's personal secretary Mark Miller for $10 million because Miller allegedly lied to him about Hudson's illness. In 1989, a jury awarded Christian $21.75 million in damages, later reduced to $5.5 million. Hudson was one of the first mainstream celebrities to be diagnosed with HIV and die from AIDS-related complications. His death humanized those who were dying from the disease, since he was a beloved actor and not seen as a sexual deviant, like most other gay or bisexual men at the time. It is sad that Rock Hudson couldn't be open with his sexuality and be with his lover Lee Garlington. I believe that if he was in this era, he would have had a better life. Please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Share this video to other platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and please leave a comment below, I would love to hear your thoughts. Be back soon with another video.